Okay, uh, we're now recording using Linux, so what could possibly go wrong? So, uh, this is the PyScript fun meeting. Um, why do we have a PyScript fun meeting? It's so that we can share the fun uh, of PyScript, and it's that sort of time where, you know, you buy the water cooler and a colleague comes up to you and goes, Hey, do you want to see something cool? Or do you want to see something fun? I've been hacking on this. And you go onto their desk, and they show you this fun thing. And you go, wow, that's awesome, and we share ideas and uh, all of that sort of stuff. So we have four fun things to show today. Uh, going first will be Fabio. Then uh, we'll have uh, Chris, and then Andrea, and then I'm going to be, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Who knows whether they're in the right order. As I see it, it's going to be Fabio, then Chris, then Andrea, and then I'm going to be the last one. Okay, yeah, we're doing, Fabio, we're doing yoga again. Uh, we were doing yoga in a, <laughs> yes. in a meeting earlier this week. Okay, so without further ado, Fabio, the floor is yours, matey. Yeah, we have two Fabios and two Chris's here. Yes. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, okay, All right, I don't want to be rude here. I know which Fabio is the elder. I'm not quite sure which Chris is. So. <laughs> anyway. It's all in here. Your age is in Yes, yes exactly, Chris. <laughs> okay. So, um, Fabio, your, the floor is yours, matey. That's weird. Hold on. The, can you you can't see my screen yet, no. right? No. It, it, it showed up for a second, and then it yeah yeah. Okay, so you're all weird. weird. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's gone mm. again. And you're all frozen. Hello, hello. I'll rejoin. Hello. I, yeah, we're all... I think we've all maybe been... Discord is having an issue. Yeah, you all froze for me as well when uh, it, yeah. it happened. Yeah, yeah, same here. I, I, I just rebooted because I thought it, I was alone, but if all of you... No, are, it's a Discord uh, problem. It's, yeah. it's a Discord problem. If it's happening to all of us. Yeah. So, okay, I can see the stream now. It's just coming through. Yeah, but let me watch. Let's stop sharing. The stream has ended. Oh, nope. Screen. Nope. No, it's I just failed. Uh, someone else. The second person wants to give it a try because I feels like I can't. Um, okay, let just me sharing. Try, let me try sharing my screen and let's see if you can all. I share my. I share my okay, screen. Let's just try my screen. Screen one. Faster. Okay, your stream is still running. We've paused this preview to save your resources. That's what okay, it tells so me. I can see your screen. Why? So this is a Fabio local problem. Then. I don't know. I never, I never seen that issue. So it was telling me there was an issue. Let me give the last try. Otherwise, we can just skip me. Can for you this see my screen? Okay, uh, we're looking at packages equals pl map plot lib. Is that you, Fabio? No, that's no. me. Ah, right. Do you want to All stop right. sharing, right. Right, Andrea? Yes. Um, How many engineers does it take to uh, do a screen share? Let me... Fabio, you try now, mate. I would be... uh, or I can rejoin and you can just skip me for, for the time being. Yeah, okay. Um... I think you're having problems sharing your screen, so... Yeah. Yeah. Chris, matey, uh, the floor is yours. So let's see if I can, where, what happened in general for the share screen? I see only individual pages. So you click on share your screen uh, and then you click on screens instead of applications. Ah, thank you. Yeah. That's the part. Watch stream. Okay, it's coming through for me. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to quickly show the stuff that's been happening for class. So for those, those of you who don't know, I'm a professor at Tufts, and we're using PyScript throughout my class, a uh, combination of PyScript and Notion. So a lot of this is Andrea developed this nice little serial thing that you can connect a Pico up, and you can say connect, and you can connect to it, and you can go to town, and you've got a full REPL, and you can run stuff either locally, or you can run stuff back up in the REPL. So this is where they start. Uh, very clean, very simple, not much there. And then there's a little bit more complicated where they get their pinouts 
Um, and if we connect up now, you can see they can go, uh, each one gets individually named. Uh, you can see all the files that are on the Pico. You can read any of the files that are on the Pico. You can view them. Uh, so if we want to see what that looks like, that's what it looks like. And then there's a bunch of hints down here, and you can save files to your machine. So that, uh, I'm assuming you guys are all still there. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yes, that's very uh, good. Chris, this is awesome. Keep going. So that, that's <laughs> fairly helpful. Thank you. That's fairly I'm helpful. I'm worried about the error uh, in the in the main.py file, but uh, everything that's, else is working. So <laughs> that's uh, control C data. So that's cool. Uh, and you can also do MQTT. So I can send MQTT things here and. Uh, oh, his audio is gone. A serial connection, um, MQTT, uh, BLE, and so the BLE can talk. What we can really, which is fun, is you can do is you can have BLE talk to a spike, uh, to a PyScript page that sends it out over MQTT to another piece of hardware, so you can get BLE to MQTT translation. You can read from any camera, so I can connect up to this camera, and capture an image. I can read from any microphone I have, so, and I can capture that. We can have multiple tabs, as you already saw. So when they do three or four processors, they can connect to three or four processors on the same page. And you can plot. So we took this into um, MIT the other day for for kicks, so that you could join up and build. Control the car and. Particularly proud of this, if you want to actually change your ratio of the two, you certainly can, although I'd love it to change in real time. I am not good at CSS. Um, again, connect up to any processor and you can see what's on it, grab remote code, clear it, load, load libraries and stuff like that. Uh, so that's very helpful. Um, and then the last one I thought I'd show you guys is kind of fun. We did this one yesterday with a bunch of folks from Lego. You can connect up. I don't know if you can see my screen, but yeah. uh, my camera. There's this little Lego car, um, has a light sensor on the bottom. You can connect up to it. Uh, and I don't know why this box changes size. Again, CSS is is beyond me, but um, <laughs> Chris, I can download and, and run some everybody. code. <laughs> <laughs> um, now this code is actually what it's gonna do is it's gonna let me connect up over BLE. So there's Maria, I connect to Maria. Now it's connected. Um, I can now hit the left button on the car, and the car will drive around measuring the light values as it drives around. And then when it beeps, I can upload the data and see the data, and of course, zoom in to anything I want, or move, oops, move stuff around, oops, uh, all that kind of stuff um, that you'd expect. So that's, that's basically it. The reason we did that, which is kind of fun, is we have a letter hidden somewhere else in the room and um uh you can i think that should stop it right yep. uh you can drive over the letter and it takes about three passes for you to decide what letter is actually what letter are you actually driving over so it's a really cool way to teach math as well as robotics um, and you'll notice what makes PyScript a, a great addition is i can do it uh, without any install or anything. I just take my my brick, plug it in, say download and run, and I'm good to go, and I got data back. Uh, so that um, that's all worked really well. The biggest, <laughs> oh, thanks. The biggest issues I run into are debugging. There, it, almost all the time, it comes back and says, all's good, but like half the stuff is missing off the screen. <laughs> or, it's, you know, because some library didn't load or something like that. We've we've got an answer for that one, Chris. Is don't put any bugs in. <laughs> uh, I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> but anyway, I, so thanks all for the help. I, I think I've gotten help from almost every single one of you uh, to actually pull this thing off, um, and uh, it's been really cool in class. Okay, we have a couple of questions. So I think Andrea was first swallowed uh, swallowed fifthly, followed swiftly uh, by Chris. Uh, Dutch Chris. There we go. That's how we can disambiguate between the Chris's and the call. So, Andrea. 
Oh, you've all frozen now. Oh, damn it. Hello. So fast. Hello. Hello. Sorry, like... Andrea, you just froze, mate. No. No. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can start start again. Yeah. Let's try again. So to me, every 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 demo was like, wow, everything is so fast also. And uh and I was impressed by everything. Um good news for the next project is that we tackled uh, something around the Pi Editor, um, error, bootstrap, bootstrapping errors that are not propagating. And so in the next release, which is hopefully coming soon, of PyScript, you will have a way better experience when it comes to providing Pi Editor, you run the code, whatever goes wrong, you will see it. So that's, that's the, at least that's the goal or the idea and the code change behind the, the merge request. So hopefully that will help you further. But congrats, because what I've seen, is it, it's always like, I didn't think you could do that, you know? And then <laughs> it happens and it's, it's, it's wonderful. So that, that was a great demo. Thank you for that, Chris. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Uh, Dutch Chris. Okay, uh, cool stuff. Um, I was wondering, you you host all your examples on uh, PyScript.com, so you get access to local devices like your you know, your Raspberry Pi that runs I don't know on your desk. Web web serial and and web Bluetooth, right? So it has to be in Chrome. Okay. The the biggest issue though, which I've been talking to Martin a lot about and Andrea as well, is students can't save stuff easily anywhere. I mean, to save files is, is painful, um, and they can't save back to the PyScript.com world. So hopefully at some point we'll have it directly linked to GitHub, and that, and that will make their life infinitely easier. Okay. Yeah, Mar we're we're trying to prioritize yeah, that, yeah. just FYI. Yeah. Andrea? Uh, I have a question. Is the MQTT, uh, I think the MQTT requires an API token or, or, or anything. Is that also a concern? Like where do you store the token with, without sharing globally? And how does it work in PyScript.com? Because I don't think we, we have that ability right now. So is MQTT token a concern? And if that's the case, how are you doing that to not leak the Euro MQTT thing around? Hello. There's nothing oh, secure oh. going back and forth. Oh, did you guys freeze? Yeah, you froze. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so right. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. man, I think Discord's having a real problem. Today. Yes. Yep. So it's yeah. all part of the fun, folks. So, Chris, do you want to start right. saying that sentence again? <laughs> So the uh, so MQTT we use an open broker. There's no SSL, so there's okay. no there's but but we do have a number of things that are not open, and so they actually store their passwords on the microprocessor, and that's how oh, we get right. around it. All right, all right, that, that's a great answer. Thanks, uh, Chris. You're an absolute star. Well, you know I think that of you. Uh, <laughs> I, and you know what Andrea said is just a huge privilege and pleasure to to watch your um presentations i've noticed you've all frozen hello hello <laughs> you've all frozen so i was just saying nice things about chris so there we go uh <laughs> okay. I, you, I said it's, Discord frozen. it's your environment <laughs> the environment's getting there it's really good yeah 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 it's getting there it's getting there okay so um fabio because you said yours is quick and you have to leave early do you want to just try one more time since you've kind of uh, left try one more time Let's otherwise one more time, otherwise, otherwise we might... save it for next time Worked. Hurrah! I think. Quick before it all freezes. Yes. Okay. I'll be very quick. So over the weekend, my daughter was complaining because her teacher, uh, well, she had a test this week uh, to learn all the states in the U.S. Yada yada yada. I was like, well, let's just play together and basically carve out a couple of hours. Uh, it took well a little more than a couple of hours, but. Uh, and we played together on this to create a, a quick game to um, 
help her guess the states. So basically all it does, and I also wanted to try the new web API, to be honest, from a user point of view. So basically the game is pretty simple. You're presented with the map. You need to click on your the, the, the current state. Uh, you have three tries. Um, and you should increase, basically, it should increase the timer and points and whatnot. So if I guess, great, goes green. If I miss, it no. goes. <laughs> uh, it's not as fancy as Nicolas' uh, example. Um, but the experience was pretty nice so far, to be honest. Um, it, it felt easy. Uh, I do have a bunch of things that I think we should do better uh, on the web interface. But overall, it was really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be improving it a little just because I think some of those components can be reusable uh, to create small, silly games for, for folks. Um, and that's it. Any questions? Awesome, Fabio. That's, that's really great. Uh, it, it's for me. It's if we start building cool things, we'll learn the wrinkles ourselves. So I, I'm really looking forward to seeing you know um, uh, what suggestions you have about about the web thing. Yeah, uh, Chris. Chris, is that a raised hand? Yes. Can you throw <laughs> the uh, Can you throw the link in the chat? Oh yes, yes. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Uh, any more questions, for Fabio? Nope. Okay, Andrea, floor's yours, matey. All right, hopefully this is going to be quick. Um, so if we have f frozen issues... Uh... Oh, the damn thing's frozen again. Oh, hello, there are, there hello, are a few hello, things. Hello, hello. Okay, hello. Yeah, all right, okay. Come on then, I can see you now. I can see you now. Go for it, we can see your screen. Right, there are a few fun things that I would like to talk about, but uh, today I will just show the latest. Um, so we, we have a few things, including the um, uh, when asynchronous listeners working, uh, improved by far reporting around the Pi editor, which is for Chris, and uh, we improved some performance and not dropping references with the uh, inner HTML. So this is all landing next. Um, but there is another thing. So this is a page running Pyodide. Uh, run, Pyodide is running some package, is loading some package through the Py. Um, so the, the, the page is basically this one. So you can see we, we have a PyConfig, just matplotlib as a, as a package and then something happening in uh, in uh, Pyodide later on. So what users see right now and what we... But the, when the document starts, when the document starts, just start loading. And uh, when the document, when you have a Py read, read event, uh, stop loading. Um, this is not ideal and um, for many reasons, but what we have right now is this. So we can actually provide true events, everything that is going on, and it's still logging in the in the console for all sake. And um, but also everyone can listen right now to Pi or MPy progress events. Um, both Py. Is, is is the moment is the moment micropython is already there and everything is shown but for when it comes to um, pyodide and in this case is a worker i think it's pretty cool to have in the worker what's going on so you bootstrap the worker you know that there is loading pyodide is loading packaging is loading stuff and um, all these things are just appended to the dom in this demo but at the end of the day is about providing feedback to whoever is awaiting for Pyodide to be ready and all the packages in there. And that that's actually it. That's the demo, not nothing else. Awesome, Andrea. Uh, you broke up a little bit during that, but I think we got the gist of it. Um, so, uh, any questions? Nope. Okay, so uh, 
What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move you off to a do- another. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Just one thing. Yeah. Because Chris, when the, the, Chris, the uh, LTK Chris, <laughs> so he, he, he made the thumbs up. So maybe one of these events or one of the listeners could be helpful for you also to show a spinner or or anything else. So the idea is that, and it came out of a discussion in uh, in PySquid.com from a user saying, okay, it's cool that we have a red event, but we don't know what's going on. And so now you do. <laughs> so I hope that's cool for you as well. Perfect. Bravo. That's it. Okay. Uh, so before the uh, uh, the internet like go- gods get us one final time, I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me just do that now. I'm going to show you yeah. the demo that I. Um... So uh, you should all be seeing uh, mypyscript.com at the moment. Can someone give me a thumbs up just to let me know that that's what they can see? Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so. We've been working with another community member called Bogdan, who may or may not have been in this meeting. He's not in this meeting, so it's a shame because he's going to miss it. Um, and we want to be able to demonstrate various aspects of PyScript. We're going to make a series of very short YouTube videos so folks can kind of learn the basics, find out the core concepts. And one of the tasks that Bogdan asked is that, you know, when we're demoing how to use PyScript.com or, or demoing how to make an app, can we make it a fun app? and not, you know, a kind of print hello world or here's a histogram or something like that. Something that, you know, normal people might find actually fun. So he said, could you just make a game? So I did. And this is it. It's called Cat Disco. Uh, it's just down. By the way, my daughter said, Nicholas, in the meantime, while it's loading, my daughter said, your game is way cooler than mine. And I need to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She, she said some skibbity words to describe mine, so right. okay. uh, I need to grow up. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm going to be really boring and do the technical talk before I do the kind of the, the, the big reveal of the game. So essentially what I've done is uh, the, the actual game itself is less than 100 lines of Python, and a lot of that is just comments and things, okay? Um, so we can build a, a very basic version of this game, um quite quickly as part of the video that was one of the uh, important aspects of this i've started creating what one euphemistically or optimistically might call a game engine over here and as you can see that's only about 150 lines of of python as well uh and you can see you can see what sort of game it's going to be because we've got sound effects called fart one and ping and slap and splat and squeak and things like that okay Um, So the important thing is that the people are looking at this and we're going to show them how to make a kind of a game like this. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, launch that over here uh, so you can see the full effect of it. And, and, you know, there are some simple tricks like there's just a a, a GIFy animated GIF of, I don't know, is that John Travolta or something like that? Uh, I'm fascinated by this guy over here on the right hand side who seems to be cutting some amazing moves. Um, Never remember that from the movie. Right. Okay. Are you ready for the game? Hopefully you can hear the music. You've all frozen now. So, oh, you're back. No, it's, okay. it's, uh, funny, it's funny your stream is still going while we, you are all frozen. Okay, so okay. Maybe so while somebody is streaming, we can, we can stop sharing or something. Yeah. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a city streaming around thing. streaming. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to start and hopefully you can hear the sound and everything as well. So the idea is it's a cat disco. Cats go down the screen. You click on them to release them and you win. <laughs> We can see it, but we can't hear you. I can't oh, hear it. Okay. okay. Ah, it's also. <laughs> but the sound is the, the best part. No, I don't hear it. No. no. You need the sound, Nicholas. That's the best part. Uh, stupidity so the important thing is is that it will work on your mobile as well so if you qr code this and you open it 
in Firefox or the most recent version of Chrome because the version that they had for the last two weeks was knackered. So make sure you've got an updated version of Chrome. But if you point your browser at that from your mobile phone, uh, you should be able to play uh, this stupid cat disco uh, game. Um, otherwise, go to ntol.pyscriptapps.com forward slash cat dash disco. Uh, and um, my, mine says this app has been blocked by the Humane Society. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you've all frozen again. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can hear meow sounds coming through. I got. So I'm going to stop st- sharing my screen now. Um, stop. There we go. Okay. Can, can you put the link in the chat? I don't have my phone. Yeah, I will. Let me just do that. So this is going to be for... Um, uh, chat. I can hear meow sounds, so it must be working. Okay, there we go. It, that's the source code, Chris. Um, so there you go. That should be making an appearance sometime soon, assuming the uh, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals haven't caught up with me before. And uh, in, a, in a demo video about PyScript, and we aim sometime over the autumn to be releasing not only a newsletter so folk can keep up with what's going on in the PyScript ecosystem, but videos as well. So we're trying to help people now that PyScript is getting more mature and Chris, folks like you have helped us and Chris, the other one, folks like you have helped us kind of figure out what you need for the projects that you're doing, the awesome projects you're doing. Um, Hopefully uh, we can get folks, more folks using PyScript. Uh, I can see people moving now. So Martin, you have your hand up, matey. So uh, do you want us to put this as the default app on (laughs) PyScript.com? We we should put it as an example on the homepage. Oh, you've all frozen again. Ah, oh, come on. Unfreeze. Unfreeze. Please unfreeze. Ah, um, oh, you're back again. Yes, uh, yeah. Alex, I heard you. Uh, let me um, tidy up the code a little. But yes, uh, it's, it, yeah, I mean, feel free. Uh, and we can we can do that in coordination with the videos as well. So folks will be able to see it when they sign into PyScript.com. Andrea. Uh, just off topic, but this, this recording is super awkward. So the sooner we close it, the better it is, I think. And uh, yeah, let's keep go forward. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I, I think on that note, unless anybody has anything else to, to say or share, I think we're, we should close the meeting. I will stop the recording and you will be able to hear. Oh, were you the last one? one? I was the last one. Were you the last one? Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Sorry. I was trying to. No, 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 rush no, 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 no. Yeah, to... I know when you're bored, Andrea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop the recording.